So, uh, this is the fourth product that we're going to be making in this uh, second episode. I have to apologize in advance because I thought I was recording while we were talking about what we were making, and I was not recording while we were talking about what we were making. So, what you missed is a bunch of suggestions, a discussion about, a bunch of suggestions wrapping up with um, a bunch of suggestions, uh, at least one of which was make a Charmander, and, um, the one that, like, I thought maybe I could do something with was make something to quiet a baby. And I was like, what, what, I, I don't want to, like, chloroform babies, that seems wrong, but maybe I could amuse them? And that got me thinking of bells, and that got me thinking, I want to make a chain, because I haven't made chains before. Uh, well, I have made chains. I made lots of chains, but I want to make another one because it's been a while. Last episode. Ignore this. Uh, I wanted to make a chain, and bells are often made out of like copper or copper alloys, like bronze. So I was like, "What's the like composition of bronze?" And someone was like, "Ten percent tin." So here we have a compound of ten of nine copper and one tin atoms and as you can see the loops are not complete each loop in this chain has a gap on alternating sides and therefore has that flexibility which can make it make those gaps bump into each other and cause ringing so this is a chain that makes noise when it is moved um made out of bronze I'm making this bronze out of copper and tin, and I am about to start attempting a solution to this puzzle, and realizing that, as sometimes seems to happen with these puzzles, this is going to be a tricky one. Like, I was thinking, oh, I can make a chain of four, and then I can make a chain of four over here, and they have an atom in common, so that doesn't work. Like, I need two pairs that I then attach to, I need, actually, I need, okay. Okay, um, I think what I need to do is make this, what's it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to make ten. I have just been mean to myself. I've been very mean to myself with this problem. And I think the only way I can handle it is to... I think what I should be doing is making this chain of five. Which is, this chain of five and the tin or maybe maybe just like this chain of six so start at the center go up hit the tin come down so i have a triplet the tin and a pair and then add to that uh let's see this is six the, add this one, this one, this one, and this one. Add these two lines to that chain. Is what I'm thinking right now. Um, <laughs> uh... Uh, uh, Heart of Aquamine in the chat is correct. Um, uh, there should be a, there should be a link in the descriptions of the YouTube videos that says, here is where the Steam Workshop page is. Um, and, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to solve this puzzle, because I, that's what I'm supposed to be doing, and I can talk about Steam Workshop later. 
Okay. All right. Okay, I've made a decision. I'm doing this with two arms because, honestly, I think it's going to be easier to just, like, tick along with two arms than to actually figure out how to do this, like, elegantly and stuff. So, at the end, it's going to link into the chain like that. It's probably going to end up being more than two arms. I don't care. Um, okay, so we have this gets bonded, this gets bonded, this gets bonded, this gets bonded, this gets bonded. Um... So grab plus retract turn, grab plus, okay. No, no, that's not how I should be doing this. Um... Grab plus drop one off there, return. Grab plus, okay. So these two, I want the next angle to be shallow. Which means uh I can just turn it like this, and that's fine. And then ting, 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 grab a ten, ting, ting. Oh, ting. But I want the connection from the ten to be straight. Okay, let's see what I've made so far. All right, so far I have made, we are in fact talking about Nate. Nate's name is spelled many ways, um, but we are talking about that Nate, the one that both of us know. Um, okay, so grab left plus and at this point, we want the angle to be shallow the other way. Okay. I did not calculate out. Okay, and I think we want to do that same thing again. Ah. I'm going to just slide this over a little bit more. 
because I don't know how much space we have. Okay. So this So I add the tin and then this slides over. Yes, I'm not drawing on the power of Nate from Leverage to figure out how to solve these puzzles. I am I'm drawing on the power of Nate from our group chat. Um, okay. Okay. So all of this is made. And there are so things that need to get added to it. This one needs a copper here and a copper here. And I only gave myself one copper. Silly, I'm going to give myself three. I'm going to give myself a couple more coppers. Like, there's lots of copper in this design in one tin, so I think it just makes sense to have multiple coppers available. And not just because it makes it easier on me who has to solve the thing. Okay. So right now at the end of this, what I have is the, the central thread of the repeating element. And I need to add coppers here, 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 and here. Okay, so let's have those two to add coppers there, these two to have coppers here. Okay. Wait, no, nothing can go wrong because, right, there's not going to be any extra bonds because there can't be because nothing's in position to end up accidentally bonded. Okay, so when this is done, this starts moving, and as it moves, it acquires the things that it needs. If I wanted to be cheeky, and I think I do, I could use the bond, I could use that bond for the lower thing. Okay, actually, this needs to be a little bit further over to clear the copper atom that's going to be here. I'm going to slide this two spaces back.
and go ahead and use the extra bond. Okay, so this one needs to put a copper here and eventually a copper here. The top is tricky because I've sent a huge chain of metal flinging and swinging all over the place up there. Yeah, you end up with a situation where, like, to get there... Okay, so that's, that's...
Okay. All right. So now I'm just trying to figure out some other way to hold it that doesn't put my arm in the way. And I think I'm going to have to come in from the left and hold it pointy up something like that. Let's just go ahead and move it one, even one way more space over just to be sure. Okay, so I have a problem with arm two now, because arm two, arm two can drop all, arm two is going to run into that copper if it tries to drop its copper in. Arm three is fine. Arm three can just grab its copper and swing down and it'll actually be perfect timing, but arm two, arm two needs to be doing something else. Okay. Okay. That is my repeating element successfully created by pushing it in instead of swinging it where it could get tangled up in things. And now it needs to move. Arm one is so long that any of these arms could spend a bunch of time moving. But four really can't anyway, so I might as well use three. Three can at least get it two squares. Uh, sympathies, Tirona, Trio, Trinora. needs to go another two spaces. Trinora, okay. Okay, I have 6,000 years, so, um, in, in this chain. Sorry, not 6,000 years to figure out how to pronounce your name. Um, so, I can just have three, drop it there, minus, minus, rotate, grab, plus, plus, retard. Okay. Eventually this will finish, which is all I need to do. This is not the fast way to solve this problem, but this this is this is not a trivial problem, so I'm happy having solved it at all. It's going to take a minute to record the gif and then um and then I'm going to call the stream. 
Uh, thank you for the compliment. And, uh, yeah. Yay, stream! Thanks, y'all, for hanging out. Uh, thanks for, uh, throwing in all these suggestions. Help me make things happen. I am... I am really happy with this episode, and, uh... Glad y'all came. Um... Alright. Oh, this does need a name. No, no, no. The thing, the, 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 the thing I'm making has a name, but, like, a thing I always do is, um, is, is name how I did my solutions. And in this particular case, my solution was push this wire until it gets long enough to become its part of the chain and then add all the stuff to it and get it out of the way. Where by out of the way, I mean get it to the customer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll catch you all next week. If I don't, then hopefully it'll be up on YouTube. Thank you for your time. Good night.